hi guys welcome back with another video on Microsoft Excel so in today's video we'll be discussing difference between using the formula range on a range compared to that one with X, uh, with tables and how to name table and then use that that name of the table in the formula so let's get, get started so here I've got my sheet uh, the usual sheet data uh, of the, my inventory so this is the range it's not a table so if I want to total my inventory by quantity what I can do is you can type a formula is equal to sum and then this is my quantity column and enter so this is my quantity and if I want to do the well, I want to know my value so I, I can do another sum on my inventory value and this is my inventory value so so far everything is good however if I if I get another uh, um, entry here in my inventory so let's say I got another mobile from Curry's and it's London based and it's one mobile and 450 is its price okay but you can see there is no change here in the inventory the problem with that is it is still referencing to my the, the range which I had already given so compared to this one there is an advantage when we convert this range to a table so I'm going to remove this entry and I need to be in the in the range and then I go to insert insert table and now it has selected my table where I was in the data and my table has got a header okay so now it is converted into our table and you can see here on the top left corner there is a table name if I leave it blank it will remain table name but I can name it to inventory okay and now if I click here so my formula is still same uh, I need to update this one later so currently I need to change this one to the for uh, to reference to my table so if i do it equal to sum and then table name is inventory so you can see that if you type i n you can see there is inventory there and i need to select inventory and then a, a square bracket and i want to sum my quantity so you can see it is it is giving you the hint there so you can see the moment I type equal to sum and my inventory table and which column I want to sum it is quantity so it has given me the sum of this but this is still old formula so I'll update this one as well equal to sum and inventory and then which column of inventory so I want to sum the column of uh, which is inventory value so I, inside the square bracket I'm going to type inventory value and you can see it has selected my column G now let's test same thing I've got 480 units here and 88,104 pound worth of inventory so let's enter a new value here below this table so M O zero zero four and you will see first of all automatically it has got the description of mo004 because it is it has adopted my uh, formula from the, the from the table and then supplier is um, m004 is car phone warehouse and then it is derby so then if I put a quantity of let's say 10 and unit price is 6.99 and you will see now from my inventory value uh, quantity has gone up because i've added 10 here automatically and my inventory value has gone from 81104 to 95094 automatically because this is not referring to a range but the full column of the table is being calculated uh, in the formula likewise um, besides some you can do pretty much everything with the uh, with this uh, table 
and the the good thing about this one is once you have referenced the uh, the table with a proper name you can then use it inside the workbook anywhere so system knows that well, you are referring to which table so but please follow the proper naming convention for the at uh, the, the table so that you don't confuse uh, between uh, which inventory you are talking about if, if you're talking about normal inventory and then there's special inventory or reserve for the stock etc so you should name the table properly so that when you are typing the formula you're not mixing uh, tables let's discuss some more options available related to the tables so once you are in the table so this table design uh, gets activated so this tab is there so first thing is you have this tick box for the header row if you don't want header row you can remove it from here and then you have got total row so this then you can see there is our total row added at the bottom of the table but this total does not mean that you can only sum it but there are other options like none average count count numbers etc and you can add more functions so you can use pretty much any function you want so this this is uh, related to that and then you if you want banded rows so as you can see there is a change in the table styles and first column if you want to bold first column so you can select this option or if you want lost column bold as well you can do it in this way and then if you want branded columns you can uh, do uh, you see the table style has changed okay so let's undo these changes so as you can see this is uh, the total of the you can see the formula it is subtotal uh, and then it is showing you 109 and it is the inventory value okay so this is the reference to this inventory table now how you can make use of uh, structure table references so for example if we go to equal to start if i start typing inventory and then you can see it has selected all of this so row 2 to row 12 all my data is selected and if i if i start with the uh, square bracket so you can see it is showing me all the all my all of my column in in my inventory table so it's starting from the product id description supplier location quantity etc and then you can so i can select all of it if i select all let's see what happens so it has selected full table but if i don't want all if i only select data so then in, if i select only data so it will then select only this part which is which is this uh from which is the data part if i just go back and just do the header and double click on header and close my bracket so you can see this top header is selected and likewise if i do the totals so it will select the bottom row so you can see this is uh, highlighted so this is how you can reference it so you can see it has reference full row and it has started from all the columns are there and now if we add another record here so let's say tv002 and then queries london and let's say quantity is 10 and unit price is 150 and you can see this is updated and that has also updated automatically so this is how you can reference uh, a structured table in the formula or this is how in the formula you can find using the square bracket it it gives you all the um, the table heading or it gives you what you want to select related to that so this is all about structure tables if you have any question feel free to leave uh, in the comments and i'll get back to you until the next video take care bye bye